So in this step, we're going to go a, one more step and say, um, let's functionalize the second part. And remember, we already functionalized the first part. So now that you know we kept the part about um, you know the run command, this is what we've seen before. But this time, we're also going to do the whole check route, and we're gonna do uh, we're gonna pass the route in to say which IP address am I gonna check for that particular route, right? So now we use the same def check route, and then we're passing in the check route as being. Uh, whatever is passed in, and then the rest of them is the same. And you should notice that uh, you know in the second function we're not returning anything. In the first function we're returning the result back to whoever was was calling the function because we actually need that result back in order to do something. But the second step, you know, the everything is in, encapsulated within this function. You know when something happens and this condition is met, we're going to send out the SMS alert. So. Uh, so we're not returning anything, which is fine. That's the that's the um, desire function, right? So now let's let's take a look. So now we're using this Python uh, convention, you know, dunder name equals to main, which means this is the script is actually being executed by itself. That um, and then we're also morphing uh, in a way that um, if it's not being used by itself, you you know somebody else could import the check route function. So what this does, two things for us. One is that if our colleague is not very familiar with the Cisco command, you know, they don't have to go look up and say, how do I show the routing table, show IP route? They don't need to do that. And, you know, maybe for your future self, all you need is just know which prefix to check. And then the second is that the second function is reusing the first function, right? It's reusing the run command. So it's doing the second step of hiding the, the logic behind it. So we're ready to go ahead and uh, check this and in a bit we're gonna get the result back and say oh no time to troubleshoot and uh, promptly get a uh, text message so let's test it out again and say okay what about you know 10. so in this case i am going to check uh 192.168.0.10 which makes it really easy, right? Like, you know, I don't need to do anything else. I don't even need to remember, you know, let's say it's a year from now. I don't even need to remember how to wrote the script. And I just need to know, hey, this does what this thing, this does this this thing that checks the route and then alert us if it's not there. And of course, you know, the, the 10 is there because it's active. So remember we talked about reusability um, as far as you know, giving this file to somebody else, and as long as they have all the right environmental variable that they could, and, and the you know obviously the dependencies and so on. But let's just say all the environments is the same, um, and they could just reuse that code without actually having to know what's inside. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and uh, copy this into this file, only because Python doesn't do well with file name that started with a number. Um, so if you take a look at the step two uh, factoring.py, it's all the same thing with the exception of um, with the exception of the naming from that file, right? So uh, and this part actually doesn't matter because now we're not running this as a standalone. We're actually just uh, running this in interactive uh, mode. So let's do that. Let's do the Python interactive mode. And let's at the bottom, let's just you know copy and paste because I don't want to do a typo. And I would just say from this file, import check route. And now it's inputted it in. And uh, imagine this is just another script, right? So I could just do check route and 192.168.0.10. And um, you know, I should either, oh, I should be there, right? So the, the route is there. And if I do a ch check 13, Oh no, time to troubleshoot. So essentially, you know, now we've hide all the messy middle. We just need to give this file to somebody who has the uh uh you know Twilio credential that they they do the environmental variable and they can they met the dependencies. Now we could just pass this file back and forth and without you know having to know the exact you know Cisco command or knowing that somebody have to use you know NetMiko and so on. So that's pretty cool. So that's the first step of um refactoring that uh, you know we're making it more simple to to use and to pass around